the 15 Decisive Battles of the World, From Marathon to Waterloo is a book written by Sir Edward Shepherd Creasy and published in 1851. This book tells the story of the 15 military engagements which, according to the author, had a significant impact on world history. The selection reflects the worldview of a 19th century European with a classical education. Fourteen of the battles took place in the arc of historically interconnected military theatres which stretched from Persia through the Mediterranean basin to Europe, and one was fought by European powers and former colonies in North America. Chapters Each chapter of the book describes a different battle. The fifteen chapters are, the Battle of Marathon, 490 BC, excerpt, 2340 years ago. A council of Athenian officers was summoned on the slope of one of the mountains that look over the plain of Marathon, on the eastern coast of Attica. The immediate subject of their meeting was to consider whether they should give battle to an enemy that lay encamped on the shore beneath them. But on the result of their deliberations depended, not merely the fate of two armies, but the whole future progress of human civilization. Defeat of the Athenians at Syracuse, 413 BC known as the Battle of Syracuse. Excerpt, few cities have undergone more memorable sieges during ancient and medieval times than has the city of Syracuse. The Battle of Gorgamila, 331 BC, also called the Battle of Abella. Excerpt, the ancient Persian Empire, which once subjugated all the nations of the earth, was defeated when Alexander had won his victory at Abella. The Battle of the Metaurus, 207 BC, Excerpt, that battle was the determining crisis of the contest, not merely between Rome and Carthage, but between the two great families of the world. Victory of Arminius over the Roman legions under Varus, AD 9, known as the Battle of the Teutoburg Forest. Excerpt, that victory secured at once and forever the independence of the Teutonic race. The Battle of Car St. Lons, AD 451 also called the Battle of the Catalonian Fields or the Battle of the Catalan. Excerpt, the victory which the Roman general, or Shras, with his Gothic allies, had then gained over the Huns, was the last victory of Imperial Rome. The Battle of Tours, AD 732, also called the Battle of Poitiers. Excerpt, the great victory won by Charles Martel, gave a decisive check to the career of Arab conquest in Western Europe. The Battle of Hastings, A.D. 1066, excerpt, no one who appreciates the influence of England and her empire upon the destinies of the world will ever rank that victory as one of secondary importance. Joan of Arc's victory over the English at All the Copyright Anns, A.D. 1429, known as the Siege of All the Copyright Anns. Excerpt, the struggle by which the unconscious heroine of France, in the beginning of the 15th century, rescued her country from becoming a second island under the yoke of the triumphant English. Defeat of the Spanish Armada, A.D. 1588, excerpt, the England of our own days is so strong, and the Spain of our own days is so feeble, that it is not easy, without some reflection and care, to comprehend the full extent of the peril which England then ran from the power and the ambition of Spain, or to appreciate the importance of that crisis in the history of the world. The Battle of Blenheim, A.D. 1704, excerpt, had it not been for Blenheim, all Europe might at this day suffer under the effect of French conquests resembling those of Alexander in extent and those of the Romans in durability. The Battle of Poltava, A.D. 1709, also called the Battle of Poltava, excerpt, the decisive triumph of Russia over Sweden at Poltava was therefore all important to the world, on account of what it overthrew as well as for what it established. Victory of the Americans over Burgoyne at Saratoga, A.D. 1777, excerpt, the ancient Roman boasted, with reason, of the growth of Rome from humble beginnings to the greatest magnitude which the world had then ever witnessed. But the citizen of the United States is still more justly entitled to claim this praise. The Battle of Valmy, A.D. 1792, excerpt, the kings of Europe, after the lapse of eighteen centuries, trembled once more before a conquering military republic. The Battle of Waterloo, A.D. 1815, excerpt, the exertions which the Allied powers made at this crisis to grapple promptly with the French Emperor have truly been termed gigantic, 
and never were Napoleon's genius and activity more signally displayed than in the celerity and skill by which he brought forward all the military resources of France. Derivative works, since the publication of Creasy's book, other historians have attempted to modify or add to the list. In 1899 the Colonial Press published Decisive Battles of the World by Edward Shepard Creasy with a special introduction and supplementary chapters on the Battles of Gettysburg 1863, Sedan 1870, Santiago and Manila 1898, by John Gilmer Speed. In 1901 the firm J. B. Lippincott and Company from Philadelphia published Great Battles of the World by Stephen Crane, with illustrations by John Sloan. In 1908 Harper and Brothers published an edition with eight battles added, Quebec, Yorktown, Vicksburg, Gettysburg, Sedan, Manila Bay, Santiago, and Tsushima. In 1920 the Viscount d'Aubernon published the 18th decisive battle of the world, Warsaw, 1920, in which he claimed that the next battle on the list was the Battle of Warsaw, fought in 1920 by the Polish and Bolshevik forces during the Polish-Bolshevik War. In 1930 Texas historian Clarence Wharton published San Jacinto, the 16th decisive battle, in which he made the case for adding the final battle of the Texas Revolution to Creasy's list. In 1936 the San Jacinto monument was given an inscription that echoed Wharton's view, measured by its results, San Jacinto was one of the decisive battles of the world. The freedom of Texas from Mexico won here led to annexation and to the Mexican-American War resulting in the acquisition by the United States of the states of Texas, New Mexico, Arizona, Nevada, California, Utah and parts of Colorado, Wyoming, Kansas and Oklahoma. Almost one-third of the present area of the American nation, nearly a million square miles of territory, changed sovereignty. In 1954-1956, British historian J. F. C. Fuller published The Decisive Battles of the Western World and Their Influence Upon History. In 1956, historian and author Fletcher Pratt published The Battles That Changed History, stories of conflicts that forever changed the course of world events. He listed 16 battles from Arbella to Midway. In 1964, American historian Lieutenant Colonel Joseph B. Mitchell published 20 Decisive Battles of the World, an update of Creasy's list with five editions, the Vicksburg Campaign, 1863. By capturing the Mississippi River during the American Civil War, the Union separated the Confederacy into two halves. Battle of Sedawa, 1866. This Prussian victory over the Austrians during the Seven Weeks War paved the way for a German empire. First Battle of the Marne, 1914. The British and French prevented a German assault of Paris and an early German victory in World War I, Battle of Midway, 1942. The beginning of the United States offensive in the Pacific Ocean during World War II and the devastating loss of four Japanese aircraft carriers. Battle of Stalingrad, 1942-43. The defeat of the German attempt to conquer the Soviet Union and a significant loss of German resources in World War II. In 1976, Noble Franklin and Christopher Dowling published Decisive Battles of the Twentieth Century, which listed 23 battles, from the Battle of Tsushima to the Tet Offensive. In 100 Decisive Battles, from ancient times to the present, Paul K. Davis listed battles from Megiddo to Desert Storm. In popular culture, referring to Creasy's work in the Gilbert and Sullivan operetta The Pirates of Penzance, Major General Stanley boasts that he is able to quote the fights historical. From Marathon to Waterloo, in order categorical. External links, The 15 Decisive Battles of the World at Project Gutenberg, 15 Decisive Battles of the World from Marathon to Waterloo according to Edward Shepard Creasy, edited by P. Sandboj.